All right, a quick little update on the uh, bucket system and how that's going. Uh, you can see things are growing. I got some new growth, new plants in today. So we'll come on over here and let me show you. The tomatoes are doing quite well. Already had to let them down and let them droop down and come back up because they're just the growth. Like just like the deep water system, the growth is phenomenal. They grow. The plants themselves grow really well. Um, this one is producing a lot of tomatoes right now. Um, a lot of flowering going on. We're running out of sunlight now because it's the end of October. Uh, days are shorter, but it's it's quite warm in here. Um, temperatures are running 50s at night, 70s during the day, a couple 80 days in there. Couple. So it, it's still pretty hot in here. Um, <clears throat> Today I planted some kale that was started in the deep water. Well, started into seeding tables and moved to the deep water systems for a week or I think about a week, huh? Um, <clears throat> over here, it's a strange variety of tomato that I didn't know we were growing. <laughs> These ye yellow ones, but they taste all right. Um, down here. New, t new cucumber plants, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I still had two extra, which I dropped in some buckets, two buckets down there, so I got ten cucumber plants going. See how that's going to work out. Uh, more tomato plants here. Bucket-wise, the tomatoes, huh, come to find out that if you look in here, a couple of these buckets had, here you go, this is a good, all of this was yanked out of that pipe. We'd come in in the morning and these buckets would be starting to fill up and all these roots were growing down in those pipes. Now I didn't think it was happening on the half pipes and the, and the ones that just have the elbow on the bottom on the inside of the bucket, but uh, Patty said that she had to unplug one of those. But the majority of the buckets that clogged were the ones with the pipe at the top. So what I did was just expose the pipe and just keep an eye on it and pull the stuff out of there. We could throw some kind of nylon over the pipe, just kind of like cap it. So far it's not that big of an issue. Uh, second issue is, well I just unplugged these, but some of these, maybe there's one over here. Um, and it's funny too, it's just kind of picking and choosing which ones are going to plug. But you can see here, this one's just doing a drip. And, and this one too, okay, here's a good example. We're getting this black, you know, we're getting fish tank goo. Plugging up the, plugging up the quarter inch lines. But right next door, you got full flow going on. It and no clog at all. Same here, you know, a lot of these are just pouring out. Here's a really good example. And this one's just... System's running well, um, numbers-wise. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably gonna take out a row of buckets. I mean, 54 buckets is a lot of buckets, and, you know, <laughs> we like to change here. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, come come to find out, we don't need 54 buckets. That's that's a lot of buckets. It's a lot of, a lot of buckets. So, tentatively, this row is going to go, and we're going to put in some <laughs> raised beds <laughs> like we did. I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen with that. Possibly raised beds going in again, because uh, with the weather turning, we have no ground crops going other than the buckets and the leafy stuff in the deep water systems. So that's about uh, a wrap on what's going on in the hoop house.